Hello everybody, I'm James Lemon and I work in this beautiful city of Nam in uh, Australia. I became interested in art from a very young age. I loved music, I loved uh, performance, um, and of course I loved sculptures and paintings. I really came to my art practice though in my early 20s when I started making um, ceramics and pottery. I've always found clay to have its own kind of agency in some ways and I, and I kind of realized that the more that I tried to distort the material, the less I liked the things that I was making. So I started to allow the material to speak for itself and that's when I really started to actually feel quite connected to it. What I've made for Melbourne now is a large installation work called Swarming, which is my interpretation of the inside of a beehive. So there are lots of layers to Swarming. Swarming is, is, is about what it's like to be a bee. So for that, I break it down to um, a lot of the different um, sensations that we have in the body. So sight and touch and sound. One of my favorite aspects of the installation is the lighting. It's a replication of what bees potentially see. I also love that this work is really about tactility. So there are these large, soft sculptures that you can touch and you can actually get inside of um, and have a bit of a photo opportunity. Colour is really, really important to my practice for a few reasons. Um, it's extremely expressive. We have such a beautiful range of colours at our disposal um, and I, I find it really exciting to be able to feel the different moods and sensations that colours can bring to your life. I'm really excited about this work for the, the scale of it. I've never worked on a, a big installation of this size before, so it's really exciting to be able to deliver um, a work that is immersive um, and is exciting and there are lots of different points that you can um, view and, um, and interact with the work. There are, there are a few ways that I would like people to interact with the work. Um, there is, I think, first and foremost, it's just you know actually being um, being in there for the little photo opportunity and getting inside the pupa and being the bee. I think that's really fun. We've also made a social media filter um, as well. Um, the you know the digital landscape is an interesting place, so I figured that would be a, a nice way to expand this kind of hive activity. Um, and I think probably the third way I'd really love people to interact with the work from a place of like quiet observation. The work in itself is um, kind of ever-changing and depending on who comes in and how different people interact, you're going to get a slightly different picture every moment that you're in there. Um, so sitting back and actually just observing the activity and the sound and um, the colours and quietness in that moment I think would be beautiful.